I would like to share my personal story. Back in 2008, when I was in Iraq, where I came into a realization or pretty much of conclusions of my sexuality. And of course, during that time, that was a, during the don't ask, don't tell policy. And so for me to accept this from what I've considered a, a bad thing based on my religion, and I figured that if I end my life, I would see it as my mother would not have to be ashamed at the fact that she had a, a gay daughter. I would have to say that 2008 and 2009 had to be the most darkest days or year of my life. And if my chain of command at the time knew that I was gay, they would have, I'm sure they would have done everything to kick me out. When I was a second lieutenant, I was told by a captain that officers are not to share any emotions because it shows weakness to soldiers. So for 10 years of active duty, I've kept my emotions to myself, even though I've always been told that I wear my emotions on my sleeve. And uh, of course, I did not seek help, which is always the bad thing. In a way, I, when I was a commander, it, it was very hypocritical for me to tell my soldiers, go get, go seek help, go to behavior health. And it wasn't until 2014 when I was separated from active duty. 2015 was followed by a divorce. That somehow those, those moments that I lived before in 2008 and 2009, they all came back again. And that was the times that I started thinking uh, once again that I should end my life. But I was not thinking about the pain that I would, that I would bring upon my mother my brother, my family, my friends. And honestly, the thought of hurting my mom, that's what actually sick me or told myself that I need to, that I need to get help. While I was in Kuwait, I uh, talked to a therapist about my divorce and active duty. And I found my passion in CrossFit at the time. I'm talking specifically to officers who think that getting help will ruin your career. I'm a major, and I'm hoping to be promoted to lieutenant colonel in the future. I will be open that I, even to this day now, I am talking to a therapist and I have no shame about it. Because there shouldn't be any shame about getting help. It feels so good to just let, one by one, those skeletons out the closet, in a way. And it's actually very rewarding. We, as officers, as leaders, need to reinforce that there is no shame in seeking behavioral health. Because you never know when you open up, you could actually be saving somebody else's lives. Me opening up to, right now at this moment, I do hope that I am touching someone. This is important. It is okay to ask for help. It is okay to talk to somebody. I just hope that we don't have to be going through this over and over again, where it's just, there's no stigma. Where soldiers of every rank is open to talk to somebody and getting the assistance that they need.